Pastor Sweet Holy Spirit Church, presiding bishop of the New Century Fellowship of Churches and Ministries. I stand today with pastors, community leaders, and a lot of past, a lot of parents, and we're simply saying we're now in the seventh day of a strike. And this strike to me now has become the crucifixion of our children. My grandbabies on this cross to symbolize the 400,000 children who now for the seventh day are being crucified of their education and their safety. There were three nails that were placed into Jesus, one into his right hand, left hand, and to his feet. I believe that all three parties are responsible and that they need to make a resolve today. I know that they've been saying it's going to happen, but we needed to tell them it's urgent. The first nail has been driven. It's from our mayor in our city. Another nail that's been driven into the hands and lives of our children is from CPS. And the third nail, of course, from the Chicago Teachers Union. I'm very frustrated, as these parents are, that this thing has taken so long. And every day, these parents are waiting for a word that their children will go back to school and not be on the street or even in our safe havens. The safe haven volunteers are getting weary. But we're forgetting the fact that our children have been neglected. Their hope is being crucified. Their education is being crucified. And uh, their future is being crucified. This is not to exploit my granddaughter, but it's simply to show that she's one out of 400,000 who possibly won't have a school today. We don't know for sure. A school tomorrow, we don't know for sure. They've got to go in that room. I was, I, I've been reading the articles, and apparently they were, we were very close to a decision on Friday, and then for some strange reason, they needed two more days. Two more days, and this negotiation has gone on for 10 months, and our kids are the ones that suffer. They're the ones that are being crucified. It, even if it's resolved today, there's some political ramifications that need to be looked at because this thing has been extended beyond the weekend. They should have gotten in the room Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if not as late as we hoped for last week, and resolve this. But it's the seventh day, and these kids are in the street, and things are happening to them. Parents, these parents can't afford uh, these $30, day, uh, $30 a day uh, centers or, or community areas. They can't afford daycare. So we have to press the urgent button and say to the mayor, do what you got to do. Say to Karen Lewis, do what you got to do. Say to Prezard, Prezard, do what you got to do that this strike would end today. We cannot go on like we're going. And I'm so concerned that uh, our children are the victims of not just two, three minutes of hanging on the cross here, but the victims of their future being endangered now seven days uh, away from school. Bishop Harrington is going to come. Yes, Jay. Bishop Trotter, to extend your metaphor, uh, mm -hmm. what were the sins of each of those parties? What did the mayor do wrong? What did CPS do wrong? What has the school, the teacher, done wrong? I think the, 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 the common denominator is that, and I don't know the particulars, but it's taken too long. It, all of them apparently procrastinated. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it's been in discussion, for 10 months, I think the biggest issue is procrastination. Maybe there's a pride whole thing here. Egos are in the way. Uh, nobody wants to submit to nobody else. The system is broken. And uh, that, that's the, the common denominator, procrastination at the sake of our children. Somebody could have done something over summer that we wouldn't have to face this. Who's done, who, who has won the PR battle here for the moral high ground? Uh, and has it shifted over the past it, it, week? It shifts every day. You know, it looked good in the paper that the mayor was going to file for injunction. Uh, everybody's sympathetic with the teachers, because we all know teachers. And you know, now there's some fingers pointed at, at Prejard. So it's, it's back and forth. Uh, there's a winner each day. 
But again, shall we gamble our children? That's right. Do we put our children on the cross? Bishop, do you think you've uh, gone a little bit over the top in the use of the cross in this way? Absolutely not. Because I think that everything that you and I are willing uh, or have to die for is symbolic of something. And and I think that children, we, we make light of the fact, oh, they got a few more days. This is the crucifixion of seven things. There are seven days of possible education. And it also symbolizes that in these past seven days, God forbid, we could have lost children. Yeah. That's right. Right. So I don't think it's over top. I think it's a demonstrative kind of um, illustration that can show somebody the severity of the hour. 